There's the mermaid there. Up the rocks. Welcome to Mermaid Beach. Mermaid Beach, is that what you call it? No, woman don't cry. No, sand storm, I die. <laughs> I like it. Say hello. Welcome to Thailand. Hey YouTube, Dead Farang here again. I've got a new segment. It's called The Walking Dead Farang. So what it is, basically wherever I am, I just go for a walk and I'll show you around the streets and uh, have a look at some shops. Give a little bit of commentary, not too much. Got some sewing going on over here. One thing about Koh Samet, there is a lot of dogs. So if you're scared of dogs, you might be a little bit paranoid work, uh, walking at night. So yeah, this is the main street in Saigao, which is the area I'm staying. The beach is straight ahead. I'm heading down there now. It's 9 p.m. Ollie's Bar and Hostel. Air conditioning, air conditioning dormitory, hot shower is 350 baht, so that's not bad. If you're looking to do it cheap. Clothes shop over here. The Walking Dead Farang. There's my joint there. Like I said, it's 9 p.m. Look at this, shut. Let's walk down the middle of the road. Beauty salon. If you are scared of dogs, the best thing is just keep walking, ignore them. Got a phone shop, in case you need a phone, charger, any phone accessories. What's the dog got? Frog. Is it a frog? This is the type of stuff you're going to see on the Walking Dead for Rang. Just whatever I see live as it's happening. Oh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Absolutely riveting. I may or may not edit these videos slightly. Today's water delivery.
restaurant over here. Another tattoo shop. Police station. I've seen a few comments already about the nightlife and the bar girls. Don't come here looking for bar girls. That's not it's not the place. Telling me second day, I haven't seen one bar with bar girls. I've only really been on this street, to be honest. But definitely no girly bars, man. If you want that, Pattaya, Bangkok, Phuket. Got everything you need. If you want, get a bar girl and bring her here. Over here. Massage shop, the canteen. Another restaurant. Doesn't look too bad. Bit of Bob Marley playing. Yeah, it's very quiet. Massage shop here, Thai massage is 250, oil massage 250, foot 250. Another clothing shop. The banana bar. The tourist police over here. The Walking Dead Farang. The Western food's very expensive here. Checked out a few of these menus earlier. Said nah. And this is where I had me noodles. 80 baht, told them chuck another 20 baht worth of pork in there, make it 100. Easy done. Actually not a bad idea doing that. Because, normally they don't put much meat in. But for the extra dollar man, they loaded it right up. I'm not sure if I said it, but as you get closer to the beach, massage is a 300 baht. Some nice looking restaurants here. Body cap. Cheap, cheap, 100 baht. 100 baht, one hour, okay. One day, 300? Thank you. There you go. 300 for a day or 100 baht for one hour. The elephant. Little Thai grocery store here. Beer, bananas, eggs. Alcohol. Little fruit and veg shop. Also selling clothes. Plenty of thongs. There's the band by Sar where I first came. Know that from the other vid. Another Thai restaurant over here. The Audi bar. There's a gym up there as well. It's 250 baht for a day. There you go. It's a med gym. What do you reckon? We'll go for a look. Quick look. Probably no one here anyway, so it won't matter. 
hope this music don't fuck with me copy, right? There's the gym. There's the price, 250 for a day. Three day pass, 600, weekly pass, 1200. Pretty cool joint. That's what it's about, chill the fuck out. Smile, eat, laugh, talk, kiss, drink, shout, and fuck. This is where I showed you the 7 Eleven here, and then another one directly opposite. Someone mentioned this in the comments earlier today. It's called the Funky Monkey. G'day mate, how are ya? Good. They just reopened today. Had a break, did ya? Everyone deserves a holiday. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. And this is where they hit me up for the 200. For entry to the National Park, which is basically the beach. Actually, I haven't been down here yet. They call this Cement Village. I'll come down here, do a U-turn. Anyway, this is good history, man. About to look back on this in 20, 30, 40, 50 years time. And see how much it's changed. My restaurant specializing in Thai food. Can't read the sign down there and I can't be fucked walking down there. I thought I'd do these vids because it gives a much better perspective of where I am. You can actually see where it is in real time. Not that it's real time, but you know what I mean. <laughs> nice paved road. Cool little town. I do like it, definitely. Here's all the Chinese. Another massage shop. Met a nice couple on the boat today, they're staying here. Cement, sand and sea, they're paying 1300 baht. It's like a little cafe there. Mm. This is where I bought me snorkel earlier today. How's this man? Jumped in the water, bang. Within two seconds, there's water in. That's where I got it, right there. 300 baht, pretty much wasted. Lots of beach toys. Balls.
Here we are on the sand. This place on the corner is called Buddy's Bar and Grill. Named after the great Buddy Franklin. I made that up. Don't know if that's true. Well, I know it's probably not. This is where I get the Coast of Mui feel. Little tables lined up on the beach, eating seafood, right on the on the ocean, bay, whatever you want to call it. Got the kids playing soccer. <laughs> oh! Got a seance going on over here. Look at that. Well, let's go down here for a look. Here we go. Walk down closer to the water, man. It's much easier. Sand's a lot harder. Tell us what you think about the walking dead Farang. Some people are going to like it, some are going to hate it, some won't give a fuck. I don't really care. I make this channel, I make these videos for me as much as I do anyone else. If not, more so for me, to be honest. I'm going to look back on these one day and go, wow, I've done that. I went there. I've been there. That's a vid in itself. Let's have a look. Oh, he's finished. He's got his tip box out. Well, I'm late to the party, man. I didn't see nothing. Where do I get a beer? <laughs> Need to regain my composure with the beer. Any seats? Actually, I'll go walking down here. There's another bar I saw down here the other day. I'll have a beer there. Naga Bar. N-A-G-A. -A. <laughs> All right, back outside Buddy's Bar and Grill. Hi, hi, good night. Got a girlfriend or a wife, this is a good place to come. Family, bring the kids. It's a completely different than Pattaya, completely different. It's only what, three hours away? I got here in less than three hours from Pattaya, most of that time was spent waiting. In actual travel time, I think it was one hour and 35 minutes. The rest was just sitting in a car and waiting. Pancakes there. I want to walk on the sand, but it's uncomfortable in the shoes. Much better down here. Thai band, is it? Stick our nose in here.
the tyres, they definitely know how to have a good time, I'll give them that. They're all pissed, no doubt. All the oldies are on the piss tonight. Good luck to them. I didn't plan on making this video this long. I've got a spare battery in my pocket. Got a bit of space on the memory card, so let's run with it. Let's keep going. See if I can make it to the Naga Bar. As you can see by how many tables are here, you can almost guarantee in high season every single one of them is packed. Look out, look out, look out. One of the human flaws is it doesn't have an eye in the back of its head. That's a fact. We should be able to see 360 degrees. I can see human evolution in the future. Don't know how many years, maybe a million or so. Every time we blink, bang, we'll get a snapshot of what's behind us. How many people have been killed over the years because they couldn't see fucking behind them? So that's gonna solve that problem. Every time you blink, boom, snapshot what's behind you. You heard it here first. More tables. I'm starting to get hot. Man is hot. I don't have a jacket on. I'm just talking absolute shit now. Anyway. Fuck it, I'm having a beer at this joint. Fluoro lights are attracting me. Anyone still with me at this point? Let me know in the comments below. What do you think about me eye in the back of the head innovation? How good's that? Might well, pull up a seat here with all me all my friends. No fucking staff. <laughs> Gotta go to the bar and order a beer myself, do I? Oh, we've got music. I'm gonna get a singer, I'll be back. It's my Thai beer of choice. Got a comment on me video saying, where's me bros at, man? Where's me bros? It's much better with your bros. Well, me four brothers are busy, they got their own lives. They don't wanna be fucking scooting around Southeast Asia with me. And me mates, most of them are broke. No, well they're not broke, they got money, some of them, but some are broke. Others are married with children. Others are long-term relationships with children. And the others have got to go to work. I just had a mate with me for a week in Pattaya. He's gone home. One thing I have found, it is hard to travel with, with some people anyway. 
I remember back in 2006, me and me mate, we come to Thailand. After about a week, we wanted to fucking kill each other. So yeah, and uh, I've had that with a few other people along the way. So I, just, I don't mind, I'm, I like my own company. I'm happy. Always got shit to do anyway. I know other people, man, they can't be alone for more than five minutes, man. They start going insane. Got another mate, can't go two days without having a girlfriend, man. What the fuck? I don't understand it, man. I love my own time. I'm looking around anyway, and about fucking, I swear to God, man, nine out of ten are on their mobile phones. At least I'm here talking to you blokes, you know, and women, the occasional women. I do have female followers. I've got an absolute honey that follows me on the Instagram, on the gram. If you don't follow me on the gram, get on it. Dead for rank. See some stuff on there that you don't see on the channel or on me Facebook. Same with Facebook. Some stuff on there you don't see on YouTube or Instagram. So get on all three if you want to see everything. See those green lights out there? They're the squid fishermen. You can go out with them 500 baht for four hours at night. I think it's uh, six to nine. Oh, sorry, six to ten. I might do it. We'll see. Go catch some squid. Okay, we're almost at the mermaid, which is where I went the other day in that video that you saw. Is that water? A little bit, and I'll be fine. So that means we're not too far from the Naga Bar. There's the mermaid there. Up the rocks. Mermaid Beach. mermaid Beach, is that what you call it? No woman don't cry. No sense of my die. <laughs> I like it. Say hello. Welcome to Thailand. Great country, I love it. Love <laughs> I have a sense of freedom in Thailand. Although there are laws, I just have a fucking sense of freedom. I'm sure I'm not the only one. You can hear the tunes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, that's the end of Saigao Beach. Now we're on to the next beach down. I'm not sure what it's called. Fairly big. Bit of action going going on down there. And then it goes around a big point. Tomorrow I'm gonna get a motorbike, go for a ride. As you know, I don't normally get motorbikes, but I'm making the exception. It's a small island, it's quiet. I will drive slow and I will be careful. Calculated risk, they call it. Calculated risk. I'm gonna turn the camera off here in case I fall. Made it. Reminded me of Ko Rong that night when the lights went out. Alright, the Naga Bar. N A G A. <laughs> Might be a few floozies hanging around. Let's have a look. Anyway, once I get there, the camera's going off. I've gone way longer than I wanted to. I was only going to walk to the end of the street and call it a day. Call it a vid. The Walking Dead for Rang on debut. More dogs, heaps of dogs here. Here we go, there's a the Naga Bar. There's the sign that I showed you. A few people up there, let's have a look. Anyway, that's episode one of The Walking Dead Farang. Let me know what you think. Catch us later.